Kyler doesn't do much. You know, I don't throw damage with my creatures in this deck. Yeah. So that's what, like, so deck stats has, like, a super cool, it'll make you a nice little pie chart, and it's like, this is how much green you need. Mm -hmm. This is how much blue you need. Okay. But what I'm more interested in is how many cards need two blue, as opposed to need some amount of mana. Yeah. Including True. green. Right, yeah. right. Like, what percentage of my blue cards need yeah. two blue mana to cast? Yeah. So that way, if I'm running, you know, you know a bunch of duels, and then I can tilt it more towards forest yeah. and islands. Well, again, like, you know me. I like my blue-red decks. Oh, yeah. Amongst those cards are Teferi at three blue yeah. and Kiki-Jiki at three red. Yeah. <laughs> and Niv-Mizzet at three blue and three red. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I might cut Body of Research. Or maybe not. It just sounds know. like a I'm big guy. I'm just going to play this deck more. It just yeah. sounds like a big guy. Absolutely. Like, the idea is you play it and then you Bioshift. Yeah. And, like, and yeah. Bioshift is a blue or green, which is great. Mm-hmm. I just want Bioshift on a stick. It would fit on is an it, Isochron. Yeah, but I have to say, is it an instant? Uh, yeah. Because at the same rate, Counterspell would also fit on an Isochron Scepter. You know, that's also true. And I find that you probably want to run 8 to 10 cards that are 2 or less mana instants to make your Isochron Scepter viable. Yeah. Yeah, because Isochron won't let you, like, search and then exile. It has to be in your hand. Yeah, yeah. right. But goddamn, momentary blink on an Isochron Scepter feels sweet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll block and... Dink! Yeah. We're out, of, we're out of danger. Right back in. Uh, let me hit us on a break, and remember to hit the commercial immediately, because I, like, forgot to hit the bathroom last time. Bummer. Me too. What like is the... What's up, guys? Is that Nova build. Like, I mean, oh, yeah, where she's negative, so she's slowing them, speeding well, them up. She's speeding yeah. them up, yeah. and it's, like, specifically for that one level, and you really need a fucking... Uh, Vaubin to do it. You know, because <laughs> oh. you don't want to speed them up to the cryopod. Yeah. That's a bad idea. They're just going to run up and kill you. Yeah. And, like, Manchai will do that every once in a while. He'll uh, he'll forget that he has the the, yeah. the speed up build on, and then and then there. it's just super quick Grenier, Grenier just like, <laughs> <laughs> just like wrecking us. But it hasn't happened in a minute. Hey, maybe it'd be useful to speed up the opponents in, uh, what's that, excavation. When people are like, oh, cool, I'll just set off the next excavator, and then yeah, it goes right. off and we can't crack our relic. Right. Oh, my God, that's so annoying. And of, <laughs> of course, of course we're going to see the fucking rare drop that Manchild doesn't have yeah. when he doesn't get his goddamn re reactant. Yeah. Oh, God, it's so annoying. Uh, so, oh, i got to write these down, but we're going to do Twanos Quarkashima. Apparently, we yeah. haven't done this matchup yet. Uh, I'm pretty sure because this was Bruticlad back then, I'm pitching this whole hand. I wanted to do... Either Tonos or Marwin to try and put more strain on these sleeves. That's what I need, is I need someone to do. I need someone to have power donation on while I use my Mirage. Yeah. Because, like, that build, dude, is so much fun. Like, yeah. I took the ultimate off. <laughs> and I, like, replaced my ultimate with Molt. Just, nice. to, just to keep her alive, and I can just keep making all the stuff in the <laughs> area fucking bombs. Oh, you know what? I could power donation on Necros, right? Because power doesn't affect the roll chance. Right? Nope. Power doesn't affect anything other than his ultimate. Yeah, I think a power donation on Necros. Yeah, right. And oh, like, but he loves his health refill, if I'm despoiling. That's okay. That's why I put the molt on. Yeah. Because that's just... Oh, you know what I moved? Like, uh, I put Tesla Nervos on Volt. Because previously he just had Oberon Smite just to put something on someone for ranks for yeah, Tillman. Yep. I want to see how that works. I don't know if that's any better of an idea. Uh, apparently one of the stronger builds in the game is to put, uh, embers, like, uh, armor strip on Volt. Yeah. Because, like... That's again, a good plan. You can just move around. And, like, Manchild wants to put the... Was it Manchild or you that was talking about it? Because there's that one that marked for death. Okay. You put Must the, be him. Yeah. Uh, you put marked for death on a target, and then the next time you kill that target, it deals that much damage to everything around it. Yeah, okay. So you put it on Volt, and you run around a lot. Yeah. And you just and build up all the damage. Chains. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty, a good plan. Pretty that's cool. That's better than just the Nervos. Yeah. Pretty cool. I just want to do more things with helmets so that I can unlock Golden I, Instinct. I, I think it should, like, if I'm going to put something on Volt, I'm going to get rid of his one, and I'm going to put Neza's one on him yeah. for more speed increase. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that or... There, uh, there's Infested Agility that'll give you that, too. Uh oh, cool. Put that on Gauss. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, just running, running to every wall. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Well, oh, I, yeah. James, if you're still around, you want to help me hunt Eidolons? Because I need to get to rank 2 in the Quills so that I can start getting experience off my amps. Yeah, I would, like, uh, I could also use hunting of, of Eidolons. Yeah. Because uh, I need the Paracesis. Yeah. Like, that's the most ridiculous <laughs> thing, is I still don't have that goddamn weapon. Because <laughs> Eidolons are infuriating. Yeah. And it's always like, what am I going to run? I, I guess just Rhino? Yeah. <laughs> like, he's just the standby? Yeah, it's like, Rhino's invincible. Did they make him harder to kill? Are, I think we're convinced that they shortened Earth's nights, but I, maybe I'm wrong about that. What, what are you... Fucking harder? Goddamn assholes. It was already just... For like four hours. Yeah, and like... And right, and all you do is just avoid these world-ending moves. Yeah. Just, every move is just Thanos taking a moon and smashing it <laughs> into the planet. Yeah. And we're just like, I'm a little kid. <laughs> and it's sucked back into our fucking Warframes. Yeah. Oh. Do a favor, right? Tonos and Krakushima. Since I'm apparently going to take a while to pick up my goddamn cards. Can I call you Ton Yeses? Instead of Ton Uh. No? Okay. To that I say Ton No. <laughs> Ton No. Oh. Didn't like I Venu. <laughs> 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 Only because it's already in there as ooze. Uh, to the Yog Flame. Onward to the womanless lands of Manshire. <laughs> Can I challenge you to change your name to something a little less laughable? Like, I don't know, Obadiah Stain. And has this, like, mic been closer to me all night been a problem? Has anybody oh. noticed that Adam's a little quieter? Does it not matter? Have I been super loud? <laughs> Have I had it turned down because I generally have it much closer to me when I'm using it to... Someone found a combo that kills them with, like, a couple hits with the Redeemer. And guess what Adam has? Guess what Adam's favorite weapon in that yeah. whole game is? <laughs> and why is that? Because it has a really strong ribbon. Because it has a ribbon from before it got rebalanced. Agreed. <laughs> that fucking, oh my god. I was yeah. just like, holy shit, giant gram thing. Yeah. And then it came to me and I was like... Oh, it okay. changed. It's yeah. still kind of good, but like... Yeah. I put both pictures in the Discord. Mm -hmm. But like, yeah, that is that is horseshit. I do want to know, okay, I would like to find another mod from pre-balancing and trade it to you just to see if we go into the trade menu, if it shows it. Like, did okay. we just skip that? Well, that's the thing, is that, like, when I bring up all my Riven mods in that yeah. in that menu and look at it, it's the stats that you had on your screen. And then I go to re-roll it, and it shows me the stats that I have. Oh. It is fucking weird. That's bizarre. So now I'm wondering, like, is it giving me the original stats? <laughs> <laughs> like, and just, like, showing me different stats? Like, I don't know how, how computers work. <laughs> I'm not well, the a, question is what they did to make it work. Uh, we didn't decide who goes first. No, but I need those coins. Yeah. You're, uh, you're flipping coins. Yeah, I'm flipping I will, coins. I'll call it oh, in the air. Sure, yeah, absolutely. You Tails. want me to no. pretend I have a crux thumb and play? <laughs> <laughs> um, do it, and then I'll call different or same. But uh, No crux thumb, just flip two. Okay. Go for it. Different. Heads. Tails. Sweet. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Fun, considering it was just flipping coins. Oh, this, this... I'm bad at trading card games. Um... So, yeah, like, Tony's been playing uh, Arena, and it's been, like, super fun to go through and, like, try to figure out a cool 60-card deck to put together. Yeah. And, like, it, yeah. Just, it just sucks that, you know, you've got to trade in these uh, wild cards for cards to own... And you don't know if those cards are going are to work ready? in a deck yet. Yeah. So, like, that part's infuriating. Yeah. And you're getting... land go. Kind of already regret this one, but... I, I fucking hate when I draw the card that I pitched. It makes me wonder if I shuffled. But I'm pretty sure I shuffled. Mountain, your turn. Alright, good. We can officially play this game. Nice. Mountain. Ponos, swing for one. Ow. That's a go. Island, arcane signet, go. Hmm. 
<laughs> you know, it makes sense because I know with the Redeemer, one of the super cool things that I love a lot is that you can... Uh, hold that thought first. Bam, bam. I'd like to drop out a junk diver. Um, Nothing in play. Swing the donuts. I'll take another one. And that's a go. Uh, is that at least in Plague Star, you can build up your Redeemer combo and or Sarpa on it while it's invulnerable and then cash it out right when it comes out. Crook. One crook cast. And it's your turn. Next turn. Inventor's Fair. Bam, bam, bam. Do you have to tap? No. Thran Dynamo. Uh, swing with a flying one. I take one. And that's a good one. I was talking with Alex at some point. I'm like, I think I'm just going to not unveil ribbons. I think for Zaws, I'm going to stick with that. But I also think for primaries, they're slightly more valuable. <laughs> Unveiled, even if they're crap. I'm going to evoke a mole drifter. I jelly. You don't want to leave a blocker up? No, I'm trying to see a land. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got to discard two. Uh, one will be a Zinder Split's Judgment. Another will be a Eldrazi Monument. And it's your turn. We are far behind. The beginning of my upkeep, if I control enough artifacts, I don't. Hilarious. Island. Uh, Grip's turn. Three, four, five. That's, that's sweet. All right, hang on. Uh, three, four, five, eight. First, let me just regular ass burn Crark. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, second, you having trouble with land? Yeah. Let me help fix your color. Michaels and Gladys. Oh, thanks. And now, swing for two. I take two. Now I'll say go. Ha! Lonely sandbar. Lanner's tapped. Uh, no Crark in play. Which means this will 100% get cast. <laughs> Fabricate. <laughs> Go look through my deck for an artifact. Put it into my hand. You'll never guess what it is. <laughs> it's a Crark thumb. It is. Okay. Wait, how'd you guess? <laughs> yeah. I said, you'll never guess, Adam. I know, I was going to say, like, you lied to me. You said I would never guess. Lie to me, Ollivander. <laughs> uh, maybe it isn't Crark's Thumb, just in case I run something that's going to float me mana. Mm. Uh, I, oh god, a Solemn is also pretty good. <clears throat> nope, Thumb. We're going greedy. Hell yeah. Even though the deck hates when I fabricate out the Thumb. It's true. But it's your turn. But like, Ooh. overload of Vandal Blast. Watch me scoop. Well, no Vandal Blast. Nice. I control all the artifacts. I need to gain a life. Nice. <laughs> I can four tap sack it, search for an artifact, put it in my hand. Not a bad plan. Which know what I want to do first. Uh, three. Four, drop out a lithoform engine. Ooh. Uh, 
And while I'm at it, how about tap out and drop a Thopter Spy Network? Meaning about if I control an artifact, create a 1 1 Thopter. Nice. Uh, whenever one or more artifact creatures uh, I control deal combat damage to a player, draw a card. I'm going to swing. I'm out of mana, so I can, I'm just going to hit you for I'm two. I'm going to take two. And I'm going to draw two cards. One card? You only have one. Oh, artifact. one or more. So, hang on. What order? I must pick them up in this order. Whenever one or more. Yeah. Yep. Okay, that's a problem. Yeah. You're thinking of Toski. <laughs> Probably. Constantly. Always thinking about the Toski. Yeah. And you're good? Yep. Well, I'm shocked that that wasn't a land. Seething Song. I float five red. I use four now of it. Now you wave on a prayer. Four of it to cast a crock. Cool. Down to one. One red floating. Crock's thumb. And our mini blue. Yep. Sweet. Your turn. Don't fuck me, Gil. I control an artifact. I got I got one or two. One one colorless. Is it colorless or blue? No. Colorless Thopter with flying. Pretend it's colorless. Well, Michael Simplata says it's colorless anyway, so mm -hmm. it's fine. Um. Technically, there is uh, no color indicator on that. I card. know. <laughs> You're just supposed to guess based on the fact that there's like a blue border. Mountain. It's cool. Okay. Um, I've kind of wanted to do this for a while. We're going to pay two and a red, as though it were any color, for a Chaos Warp. I'm going to three, copy target instant or sorcery spell I control. I'm going to choose new targets. And also, bam, copy target activated or triggered ability from an artifact source. Cool. Three. <laughs> three targets. Uh, Krark, the thumb, and the signet, why not? Cool. I could hit a land, but eh. So we'll go with the Krark first. Yep. Land. You're nice. welcome. And then Thumb. Sure. We should do Thumb last. It's already in here. Yeah, that's fine. Does that matter? If if it Not comes really. up again, I'll I'll shuffle it back in. Yeah. Land. Nice. <laughs> All right. We'll pretend that was the signet, and this is the thumb, just so I can pretend that I played this right. Yep. Sweet. It's like I didn't even miss a land drop this game. <laughs> right? Move to combat. Swing. No. And take. You want to take two? I take two. None of it commander damage, but I'll draw a card. And that's all I got. Go ahead. Land. Nice. <laughs> I just helped this dude with his mana so much. And don't even worry about color. Yeah. Crark. It's your turn. Really exciting. Uh, beginning of my upkeep, I control an artifact, I'll gain a life. Beginning of my upkeep, uh, if I control an artifact, create a Thopter. Second Thopter. Regular ass draw. Land. Nice. Two and two blue. Earth's a Lord High Artificer. Wow. Codex of Slotties. They exist when you fall. Steel Ray. 
Uh, activated or triggered, and when he enters the battlefield. Cool, that sounds like a triggered ability. Bam. Which I will then copy. Wow. To instead have three, three space marines. That's awesome. Space marines. <laughs> And I've left myself no mana, but... But now your micro synth cool. can tap for one. <laughs> You're right, I have mana. Cool. Let's just go straight to combat and swing with the Junk Diver and one Thopter. Because the other one's old. Or new, rather. Uh, take two. Take two. Go to 29. And I draw a card. And... So go. Okay, I said no mana. I meant two mana. And I can spend mana as though or mana of any color. That's right. Which doesn't help you with Eldrazi, I think, but... It's an amazing tunnel spell. It doesn't All have right. to go this We're, uh... Dropping the Sakashima. No, you're not! But You're such a dick. Fine. I play blue. I mean. Yeah. All right. Crap. It's not Kashima. Goes in the thing. I believe that is a cast. I'm just gonna have to get marked. All right, Veyron. Voice of duality. Can you read this? Yes. Go ahead. Magecraft. Whenever you cast or copy, both of them will turn. If you casting or copying an instant or sorcery causes the triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger, that doesn't say other, get another. Cool. Your turn. I, I don't think I lived through this turn, but... I, I don't think so. Perfect. Not that I had anything else to do anyways. <laughs> Beginning of my upkeep. If I control an artifact, gain a life. How did I not mark my cast? Okay. If I control an artifact, have a thopter. Up to three. We're gonna draw. Or it's his tower. Land. Nice, as they say. Uh, I take 63. I think so. <laughs> and that's just the, the Space Marines. Yeah. And then I draw a card off that. Perfect. And it's a Cloud Key. All right. Notice how I have creatures in play and I'm still taking all three of them. <laughs> that's how demoralized I was at the end of that game. <laughs> wow, that was probably super loud on stream. I'm super sorry. <laughs> Just slammed that card right on top. Hey, oh. 